I'm not even going to say anything optimistic about how this run is going thus far, because I know what lies in the store, and I am not looking forward to it. But I'm having a lot of fun right now, so... Hey, there's that. Okay. So we gotta move. So, immediately get a bunch of these guys. We're gonna take our group of whites. Cool. We gotta move. Move it. No. No, no, no. Leave, leave the female shear grubs. They can't do anything. We gotta move real quick. So we gotta knock down this gate with 15 whites. It'll take a while, so we're gonna ultra spicy spray them so that they can knock it down faster. You don't get to slack working, you have to do work as well. You start knocking that down. Now let's see, at this point I guess we'll catch up with the others. We're going to need purples over this area because the next treasure will require us to have purples in order to grab it. Cool, cool. Need you guys to pick up the pace again, so here I'll spicy spray you guys again. I really, really want to get this treasure before... Okay, we got the chrysanthemum over there as well. Alright! Cool. Cool. Might use another spicy spray. Cool, alright. They've done that, then they'll take out the poison sensors. Cool, alright. I know it's almost sundown. What just happened? Olimar, Louis, the sun will be setting soon. Call in all of your Pikmin to you. This planet's na native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin onto the onion and yourselves into my hole so we can take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin in your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end, so send them all to you. Okay, and we gotta build a freaking bridge. Okay. Gonna use our last spicy spray. You guys build the bridge. Get back here. We gotta carry this back. <laughs> I just blew through all my spicy sprays. And you know what? That's fine. Fascinating. This object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By examining this fervor, I may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. Yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to get it back as fast as possible. <laughs> we just dug it out instantly. Come on. Take it this way. No, no, no. You take it this way. Oh, no. We're not going to make it in time, are we? Darn it. Shouldn't have spent so many... Darn it! Shouldn't have spent so much time farming spicy potions. That's a shame. Alright, well we do need all our pigment under our command. That is actually very unfortunate. Now we're going to have to take a full day just to bring that back. And then we have like nothing else to do here. So, oh well... That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I was not as efficient as I could have been. And you know what? That's okay. We have unlimited time. And we can build our red population up a bit more, I guess. What are those fiends named? They're not careening to Ridgey Bugs. Those are a different enemy. Prototype Detector, five minutes after the treasure... That's a lot of treasure. We got almost 2,000 in one day. That's nuts. Everything went up! Woohoo! 
We only got five new purple Pikmin? Was there only one new purple Pikmin flower? I guess so. We have 112 Pikmin. Ex exactly. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Day free. How's progress, Ulubar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Be sure to hold R occasionally for a close-up view of the action. Okay, Mr. President. <laughs> I'm gonna look up that enemy name. It's like the... The Cloaked something, maybe? Okay, Fiery Blowhog, Female Sheargrub, Male Sheargrub. Cloaking Baronet, that's what it's named. The Mittite. The Ivory Candy Pot Bud, the Creeping Chrysanthemum, the Honey Wisp Clover, the Common Glow Cap, Horsetail, Margaret, Fiddlehead, Empress Bullblacks. Empress Bullblacks, Oculus, Matricia, the Grub Dog family. Initial observations place doubt on the ca capability of the Grub Dog family to support a strong ant or bee like social structure, but recent studies show that the family is capable of such complexity. The egg sac of the largest female Grub Dog given, well, within a given range swells to dramatic proportions in response to environmental changes, such as the sudden depletion of prey species. These females temporarily take on the role of pa pack matriarch. Also in pack formation, it has been observed that nearly all males not involved in species reproduction undergo natural sex changes. The characteristics of such specimens are quite intriguing indeed. That's weird. Burrowing Snagret. Burrowing Snagret. The Shiropedes Anascondi, Snavian family. The majority of Snagret species lie in wait to ambush and capture prey, with a body type perfectly adapted to such sudden strikes. No duh. It violently attacks small surface-dwelling insects distributed across a relatively wide range. Subspecies of Snagret suited to the varying soil conditions have emerged, making the Snagret the most geographically represented species besides the Bulborb. Visually resembling the Burrowing Snagret is the Burrowing Snarrow, the, ra the range of which partially uh, overlaps with the Snagret's range. While the two may appear similar, when pulled from the ground they can be distinguished by the presence or absence of a tail and wing markings. Cool. Well, we gotta go back and get that treasure. And there's another treasure we can get in the overworld, I suppose. And you know what? We can farm for more spicy sprays. Because I don't know what happened, but somehow I lost all of mine. Good morning, the white Pikmin are loaded with the purple ones in my hole, I mean lodged. The two types are sleeping well, and they do not quarrel, I have made them most comfortable. You can call out well the white Pikmin by standing in the light beneath me and pressing A. On a separate note, be wary of overworking yourselves, taking a break can be courageous too. Can we take a vacation to a different planet? No. To retire early for the day, press start or pause to access the radar screen, then press R. I'll keep it in mind. Alright. Let's pull out the white Pikmin. Because I've got a job for you. Come on, boys, there's a job to do. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, hey! That's the, um. Blah, 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 blah. Iridescent Flint Beetle. I'll deal with you later. Right now. White Pikmin, you dig that up. Louie, you take the powerhouses. If that if the glint or if the flint beetle is still around. And then let's take care of it. But it may have disappeared. The flint beetle can potentially give you, uh, I think, nectar and maybe sprays if you hit it on its back enough. Yep, they dug up an onion. An actual onion. And not a Pikmin onion. Man, this got put back in its different spot. Rats. Mmm, delicious. The Pilgrim Bulb. They should have called it the, Sh the Shrek. Liz! There we go. It's a long, long way to Ba Sin Se. Ooh. 
I guess we could also farm for more red Pikmin, just to make sure we have 100. We could also get more than 100, because presumably we're going to turn more Pikmin into purple Pikmin and white Pikmin. <laughs> Luis, totally oblivious to what's about to happen. <laughs> Look alive, look alive, Louie. Ooh, butterflies. The gold butterflies you can uh, hit. Oh wait, oh wait, no, that was that was a rose petal. Gold butterflies will drop nectar. Red butterflies will drop the spicy spray. So I'm like, ooh, it's like a red butterfly. No, it's not. It was just a cherry blossom. Oh no! It's these stupid worm fins that eat the spicy berries. Louie! Ooh! The geographic projection. That's the southern hemisphere. It's upside down, though. This hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I will attempt to decrypt the stored data. Decoding complete. As I surmised, this chip contains additional topographic data. The data has been inputted into my database. I shall name it the survey chart. We're going to South America. 30% of the debt recovered. We're about a third of the way through the game. Well, to getting the main ending of the game, not the true ending. Oh, no, you don't. Those are my berries! Can't eat them. They're mine. I need them. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. In your face. Get out of here. treasure there, but it's out of reach. I think that's basically everything I can do in Awakening Woods, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep waiting for these berries to respawn. And I guess I can take these pellets as well. May as well build up the Red Pikmin army. Get over here. What are you guys just hanging out here for? Time is money. I know Pikmin have no concept of money, but... Oh, did those stupid worm fiends eat the berries? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> oh no, you don't! He's like, oh boy, I get to eat more. <laughs> Not for you. Man, those fiends are still alive as we carry them back. Those fiends are gross. They're leeches, but on land. That's only gonna give me one spicy spray, though. I'm pretty sure I can't explore any of the rest of this. But just in case I can, if I'm forgetting something. Oh, okay. White Pikmin, you got a job. I need you to knock this barrier down.
It'll take you three weeks. At least it's not a black gate. The white gates aren't as difficult to put uh, to break down. And we got a good amount of the day to do it. They would benefit from a spicy spray. But unfortunately, a watched pot never boils. And the same applies to spicy berries not growing if you're looking at them. Aha! Why, yes, this is worth doing. <laughs> All right, white Pikmin are knocking down this a little bit at a time. Wonderful. They'll get it down by the end of the day, and then we can... Well, I'm actually not sure if there's really anything to do over there. But hey, it's something to do. so convenient that these spicy berries are, like, right next to our base as well. Oh boy, they're almost done! Well, no, they're not. They still have two-thirds of the way to go. One-third of the way to go. Nice job, gentlemen. Nice work, pal. It's a very boring day. I've even killed, like, all the enemies, so there's not much in the way of excitement happening. Which I, you know, there's... I'm fine with that. There's a place and a time for m mundanity. You guys are tough workers. Fifteen of you are breaking down this wall by yourselves. Pikmin up here on the lift. Then we're going to toss some purple Pikmin. Um, <clears throat> I said we're going to toss purple Pikmin up here. Cool. That's submerged in the water. Oh, uh -huh. okay, here we go, here we go. New type of berry. Wish there was more than one of these. Or just don't be a doofus and drag those into the water. Here we go. If we could get another set of those five, that would be great. Astonishing, this purple berry contains an ultra-bitter essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. The bitter berries are much better than the spicy berries, trust me. <laughs> There we go, another tre uh, another treasure. It's a die. A hundred dollars. The chance totem. Great name. Have you seen my chance cube? Yes. 
They grew back! <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Let's just keep farming these. Ah, that's just lovely. It's a very interesting day. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes! The last berry! <laughs> Captain Olimar, I have completed my research on the purple berries you discovered. Behold the ultra bitter spray. It's untested, but I believe it will be highly effective. Approach enemies and use up on the D-pad to spray them. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press start or pause to contact me and confirm your berry count. Look at L on the radar screen. Yeah, so using this will freeze enemy in enemies in rock for a good bit of time, about five seconds. I mean, granted, you can't do as much damage to them when they're frozen in rock, but, like... <laughs> It's still basically the only way of defeating certain enemies is to petrify them with the bitter spray. So, you, you definitely want it. Oh yeah, petrifying enemies. Oh yeah. I, there are some enemies in the game. I'm like, I do not know how you can possibly take them on without losing Pikmin without the bitter spray. Mainly the spotty bull bears and kind of the fiery bull blacks. It's like... Those guys are basically impossible to take on without bitter spray. Electric fence over there. Will we get any more bitter berries? Probably not. Nah. Even if we got more berries, we wouldn't get enough for another spray, so... 95 Pikmin. I think we can prematurely go to sunset. Nice work, gentlemen. We got a lot of berries. We didn't get much treasure today, but we got a lot of berries. We've reinforced our numbers, and we have unlocked the new world. We actually now have unlocked three out of the four worlds in the game. Only four worlds, but the worlds are quite big. Today's report... Geographic projection, the Pilgrim Bulb, and the Chance Totem. 355 Pokos. Woohoo! More Pikmin! I almost have 100 red Pikmin. Olimar! Good work so far! I hereby promote you to Perennial Manager! Press X to divide up work, and Y to delegate more to your subordinate leader! Hope all goes smoothly! Yes, mi yes Mr. President.